As reported by Vaffa Media earlier in the day, St Kevin's and senior coach John Edgar have decided to part ways on the eve of their Round 13 clash against Collegians. In a statement released by St Kevin's President Paul Murphy, Edgar made the decision to stand down after an agreement for the 2017 season could not yet be made between the coach and club's committee. The decision was made to part ways now to give the club time to tackle the arduous task of finding a replacement coach of his calibre. St Kevin's are currently sitting in 8th spot on the William Buck Premier Ladder after finishing the 2015 season as Premier B champions with a 20-0 record. For the full story, visit vaffa.com.au. From all at Vaffa HQ, we thank John for his service and commitment to St Kevin's and the association, and we wish him all the best in his future endeavours. Now let's go to Michaela who will preview Round 13 action before we return for an update on a Big V star. Thanks Nick. While Old Kerry face St Bernard's and University Blues take on Old Trinity, it will be the blockbuster match between De La Salle and Old Severians which will be covered by the team at 96.5 Inner FM this weekend. With two straight losses and now in third position on the William Buck Premier Ladder, De La Salle need to return to the winners column if they are going to push for a top two spot and the all important second chance come finals time. Old Severians heaped more pressure on the top four as they continued their red-hot form with a 61-point win against Old Melburnians in Round 12. Their chances of making it four wins in a row increased significantly with the return of Brendan Goss, who will set up alongside Matt Hanley and Tom Williams in the forward 50. Williamstown and Old Ivanhoe will meet in their most important match for the year in Premier C, with the winner set to sit in fourth position at the conclusion of the round. The Hoes have been out of sorts in recent weeks and suffered consecutive losses to Ormond, Mazenod and Q, while the CYs have won two of their past three. Marcelin's new found form will be tested against Peninsula, while Pegs will be tasked with stopping Old Mentonian's elite scoring ability when the two sides clash at Keysborough in Division 1. Aquinas, Alstonwick and Parkside will all be looking for victories to propel them out of the three-team relegation zone in Division 3, while Manningham Cobras and Ely Park Sharks will meet in the match of the round for Division 4. There's only six rounds to go, Nick, and it's starting to heat up in every section. Thank you, Michaela. An update on Old Melburnians and Big V young gun Hunter Watkin, who had surgery yesterday on a broken nose he suffered in the Big V under-19s clash against AFL Vic Country last weekend. Watkin courageously went back with the flight of the ball during the first quarter at Waterview Reserve and received a front-on knock to the face, forcing him to immediately leave the ground. Despite passing a concussion test, Watkin played no further part in the game as he was taken to hospital for CT scans and to confirm there was no further damage. Watkin will miss this round of football but says he should be fine to return to the park next weekend.